proof of work and proof of stake made simple. In the context of blockchains and cryptocurrencies, proof of work and proof of stake are two of the most prevalent consensus mechanisms, with Bitcoin using proof of work and Ethereum transitioning from proof of work to proof of stake. But let's back up for a second. What is a consensus mechanism? A consensus mechanism refers to any number of methodologies used to achieve agreement, trust, and security across a decentralized blockchain network. When the nodes agree as to the validity or come to a consensus on a block of transactions, only then is the block added to the blockchain. A consensus mechanism requires economic incentives to encourage participation in the network. Additionally, features must be set in place to increase security, preventing one party from overtaking the network. Now let's take a look at the two most common consensus mechanisms, starting with proof of work. With proof of work, all nodes or computers in the network solve a cryptographic puzzle. These puzzles are solved by miners. The first miner with a solution to the cryptographic puzzle verifies transactions and adds the block to the blockchain. Miners are rewarded with the native cryptocurrency on the network and all transaction fees associated with the transactions inside the block. The higher the computing power, the higher the chance to create the next block, thus receiving the reward. Incentivizing computing power has resulted in the creation of mining pools or groups of miners, combining their power together to increase their chances and splitting rewards. The most common criticism of proof of work is the extensive computing power needed and its environmental impacts. On the plus side, proof of work is a mature, tested consensus. Bitcoin alone has proven to securely maintain a network of over $1 trillion using the proof of work consensus. Now, let's take a look at how proof of stake works. To participate as a node on the proof of stake network, one must deposit coins into the network as stake, like a security deposit. The minimum amount to stake and the time the coin must be staked can vary by network. A node chosen to validate the next block is called a validator. The validator checks the validity of the transactions and adds the block to the blockchain. As a reward, the validator receives transaction fees associated with the transactions inside the block. To prevent attacks on the network, validators will lose part of their stake if they approve fraudulent transactions. A downside to proof of stake includes users with large amounts of coins having an outsized influence on the network. The most commonly referenced advantage of proof of stake includes less computational power as compared to proof of work therefore more energy efficient. Thanks for checking out our video summary on proof of work and proof of stake. For the most comprehensive research on digital assets, in addition to daily crypto updates, check out fsinsight.com. And thank you so much for watching.